Hello there, everyone. Uh, I'm Olli Mantula from the Game Development World Championship, or you can call it GDWC for short. And so what is GDWC? Well, it's a global competition for game developers, and it's been organized in this current format since 2016. Uh, but we have ancient history going back to all the way to 2012. And the competition is fully online, so it's very easy to join from anywhere in the world. And it runs throughout the whole year. We have uh, open votes happening throughout the year and the streaming happening and all kinds of stuff going on constantly. And uh, participation is pretty easy. Like I said, it's, uh, on the competition is online, so you can join from anywhere in the world. Uh, but also the competition is completely free for developers to join and sub submit your games. So, and it's also open to all kinds of developers from all backgrounds and all and for all kinds of games on all digital platforms and we have multiple categories to compete in so it's very easy whatever kind of game you have uh, a project or like a prototype or anything you can even join with an uh your with your with an in development game your game doesn't have to be published yet uh it just has to be published this year or in the future and you can you're welcome to join and to quickly look at some of our previous years, uh, last year, 20, GDWC 2020 was our biggest year in the competition history at that point with over 1,800 development teams from over 100 countries uh, joining in. And this year, we've already cr crushed that uh, last year's number. And this is now the biggest year in the competition history with over 2,200 development teams joining in. And once again, well over 100 countries are represented in the competition. So. Uh, there is still time to join uh, since the enrollment closes at the end of the year. So if you have a game, you're welcome to join. And just a quick glance at some of the categories we have where you can compete in. There are PC, uh, categories for PC games, console games, and uh, hobbies, projects, and mobile games. And we even have a game jam category. Uh, you don't need to make a game jam game specifically for the competition. Instead, if you've made a Game Jam game at some point during this year, you can submit that game into the, into the Game Jam category. And we also have this year launched a bunch of new categories with the VR Awards and the Student Game Award. And I'll tell more, more about those soon. Uh, and we also, the fan favorite category is open to all games and all games that are submitted will automatically participate in there. And that one, in that one, uh, the winner is decided by a popular vote. While in other categories, the winners are picked by a jury of, of games industry professionals. And uh, about the VR awards, this is something brand new that we launched this year with the help of the great people from VR TV. Uh, this category is meant for VR games and VR prototypes, uh, or which will complete, compete separately. And uh, VR TV will offer a publishing deal for the winner of this category. So. If you if you have a, if you have a VR game coming out this year or in the next year, def definitely you should check it out. And uh, even if you have a prototype, you should also uh, check it out because the best prototypes and concepts are also rewarded. So check that out. And uh, for students, uh, if there's any students here listening, uh, we launched uh, also a brand new category this year, the Student Game Award, uh, in collaboration with Autodesk. Uh, for any student game developers. Uh, so you don't have to be a game development student. Uh, any uh, students from any field can join the competition uh, as long as you have a game that you've made this year. Also students uh, that uh, have, uh, have graduated this year can participate still. And then one of our own little competitions we just kicked off, we are looking for a mascot for the competition. Uh, that, that should represent uh, everything that's fun in uh, game development and get playing games in general. And as you can see from the results here, like our own attempts were not brilliant. So we could definitely use uh, help of any artists uh, there might be listening. Uh, we will pay a cash price of 1,000 euros to the winning design. And you have until November 28th to submit your designs. And they can be anything from 2D, 3D, 2.5D, 4D, whatever just like uh, as long as it's uh, some fun fun character that embodies the or everything that's a gaming and game development. And a bit of a teaser for next year, we have the 2021 uh, award show coming early next year. 
because our enrollment is open until the very end of this year. Uh, we will celebrate the, announce the winners and celebrate them uh, early next year. So stay tuned for that. And like I've already said a couple of times, if you are an indie developer, you have a game, uh, you can enroll at the gdwc.com. So go there and check us out. And uh, finally, uh, let's just meet our sponsors who are making this competition possible. And uh, th these, these companies are supporting the competition greatly and providing awesome rewards. So uh, definitely you can see uh, uh, listings of the actual, actual rewards on our site. So go there and check them out, like uh, what cool stuff you can win from these great companies. And if you, are, if you want to support the competition, just uh, send us a message and help make next year's competition even bigger. So go to the gdwc.com to join the competition or vote for this week's uh, this week's uh, weekly vote or fan favorite games. And uh, follow us in our socials at flow.page slash the gdwc.com. And for any business or other inquiries, just email me only at the, at the gdwc.com. Uh, there, thank you, everybody. Uh, if, the, if we have time for questions, I'm not sure. Uh, Oleg, do we have time for some questions? I can answer some. Can check. Uh, I see someone mentioned that there's no AR category. Uh, AR games can participate in any of the other categories if they are uh, uh, fitting platform-wise. I'd imagine uh, many fit really well in the mobile game category. And uh, and uh, yes, you can you can submit multiple games uh, as well. Even if you have a game jam game that you made for a, for example a game jam game that you made earlier this year and you've since developed it forward a, a lot uh, into a full-blown uh, bigger title you can uh, submit those both as separate titles. Uh, you can put the Game Jam game into the Game Jam category and the other title into the, into any of the other, uh, into the further developed version into any of the other categories. Uh, those are looked at as a separate entities. Well, we have a question. Will games releasing the prototype in later half of 2022 eligible to participate? Uh, 2022. Uh, Yes, yes. Uh, any games coming out uh, during 21 or any time in the future can participate. And uh, of course, it's up to the, you should uh, look at any games are evaluated as they are. So we don't evaluate potential. Uh, in, and so if your game is very early, very roughly in rough in development, then it might not do that well. But the, uh, but uh, history has shown that even alpha version games can win. Like 2019, pro category winner was still in alpha phase when it won. So just uh, take an honest look at your game and think like, is it good enough at this point to compete against the other games? And if you think it is, then just go ahead and submit it there. And you can also, if you don't win, you can participate again for next year. Thank you very much, Oli. And I just want to remind you that uh, the GWC stand is there in the partners area. So you can go check it out and uh, also post any questions there uh, for Oli. Yes. Uh, one more thing I, I can say, just we stream weekly. You can see David is actually on uh, our content creator and community manager is on the chat. He streams the uh, fan favorite uh, nominee games each week. And now I think on Halloween there might be some other uh, horror game streaming coming as well. So go check us out on uh, on our Twitch channel. You can find it on the flow page, and uh, say hi to David uh, in Twitch.